Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Deadpool and Wolverine. This is going to be a pretty quick non-spoiler review, but I just wanted to get this out here. I love the movie, um, but there is something I want to get into right before, and it's the state of the internet, state of, you know, being online and this age we're in, I don't really give a fuck about people's clickbait type woke this, woke that, this is that type thumbnails and things like that. I generally don't care. I have my own little thing about not looking at things and then after I do my review, I will go and then, um, you know, check out a multitude of people's, you know, impressions of the movie and their reviews. But I do it with people I like, people I don't like, people I agree with, people I don't agree with. It does make for a little bit of tedious things in my head, but I like to get that out there every once in a while just to set the tone for, you know, how I like to do things and what my experience will be and not let it be bothered by everybody. So leading up to this movie, I didn't know much about it except for the things you can't avoid. I watched the first two trailers, I always avoid the last one, and according to the internet, uh, I'm lucky. Alright, getting that out of the way, I think this is one of my favorite movies. There's a, you know, blend between the critic in my head and the, you know, the fanboy. It doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, I had a note written down, and I stopped writing the... Um, information and then put I don't give a fuck like I think there's a tone here that really it doesn't matter when you've got this feeling of love behind the characters and really holding nothing back in this movie for you know um, breaking the fourth wall and really giving it to Fox MCU even more topical things like um, well, that might be a little bit of spoilerish, but in a general sense, this is the most fun I've experienced in a long time, maybe ever, because it just might be made for me, this type of movie. But I loved the first Deadpool. I wasn't happy with the second one as a critic or more, uh, you know, what did it do for me? So I think this is my favorite Deadpool movie. Yeah, I think Logan is more of a an experience and a character study for Wolverine and critically it's a better movie but there are times when emotion and your state of mind factors in Logan is a hard watch it's a rewatch it's grim and it's really um gets you down and it, it makes you see the real person and the struggles and in the future and what's going on and this is just the opposite. It's just, we don't give a fuck. This is for the fans. Let's go nuts. And I had a ball. I don't think there's a bigger, better audience experience ever for a Marvel movie. Now, this will differ, I understand, like Endgame. People cheering and clapping. I've never heard it like this in, in this type of movie. Ever. It just is a new level of audience engagement, oohs and ahs, cheering. I, I got up and cheered. I don't think I've ever done that in, I can't remember when. And I fucking love Endgame. And I'm not here to put my critical hat on for this non-spoiler review because I don't care. There are movies that, yeah. I'm going to go and expect a certain, um, you know, a certain formula of a movie making that is something you can almost objectively say, okay, well, these three acts didn't work. They didn't do the pacing, there's this pacing issues or whatever. Every part of my being didn't give a fuck with this movie. So it's not a perfect movie, but it's really good. Even if I was going to go from a critic point of view and what their goals were and what they achieved, this whole um, 
is the movie gonna save Marvel? Like, I don't give a fuck. First off, and I like how they don't say Marvel, they say Disney, because now it's, it's a good thing to, you know, fuck over Disney. I don't really care. Like, I'm honest, like, the Acolyte sucked shit. It was fucking horrible. You know, there's so, there's so many things wrong with that. Uh, it, DC, Marvel's dead. DC is dead. It's dying. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm the idiot who will say I, I want a, a season two of She-Hulk. I will watch Madam Web movie again. It doesn't really bother me as long as it satisfies that entertainment factor. However, I try to be honest and say, yeah, I'm not going to argue these, um, you know, talking points about movies that have critical issues. So I try to balance that between I'm a fanboy. I will let things slide. I'm going to have fun. And this is just a bad movie. It's made bad cinematography. This movie goes for it in a way that really got me. So if, if I'm coming out here and saying this is a recommendation, fuck yeah. I don't care if you've never seen anything. I don't care if you have questions during the movie, like what did this one line mean? I don't think it matters because it has enough of the heart, the funniness, the breaking the fourth wall. All of that blends with action pieces that, for me, keep this movie moving. And again, I don't think I've ever cheered so much, screamed out loud, just had a ball. Now, I get it that those factors could be somewhat dulled a bit when you know all the spoilers, when you know who the cameos are going to be and all that stuff. I get it. So, sure. But even, I hope that even if I was honest enough, because I did not know much about this, I didn't know about all the cameos, except for like one that it was so long ago, they really didn't, you know, weigh on my mind. And as I was approaching the movie, watch, getting ready to watch it, I didn't really have that mindset of, oh, I got to avoid things. Because I just do it anyway. But okay, we've got trailers and stuff. We know a couple of people are in it. None of that meant anything in a detrimental way to spoil this movie. Holy fuck, did I get goosebumps? Did I fucking cheer? Did I get nuts in this movie? Fucking yeah. Hell yeah. Holy shit. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Just think, just even doing this quick thing. So I have a awesome place in my heart now for this movie immediately. Rewatchability is off the charts. There's so much in this movie. And again, I don't care. I don't think it matters. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, if, you don't, if you're not a fan of you know, Marvel movies, if you don't know the history, I don't think it fucking matters. That's all just icing on the cake and a, a, a thank you to the fans. And yes, that is obvious in this movie. There's going to be no um, de debate or argument, I think, for most people, even the harshest critic or the biggest fanboy. At both ends of the spectrum. This is just fucking nuts. And I, you know, I often think sometimes uh, this is a movie that really is pivotal for me. And again, I'm not in this. I never sat here and said, oh, it's getting bad. And they poke fun at that in the movie. Like, what the state of Marvel, the movies aren't doing so well. They haven't had the blockbuster. Like, the only part that matters to me is when. I know something isn't good. So let's say the She-Hulk TV show. I know it wasn't very good. I had a smile on my face and loved it. Loved the act. Like, I love so many aspects of that. But I know that it's a real life. If it doesn't perform well, if it doesn't capture an audience, it's not going to be continued. So yes, I can understand that. But I don't really care. Because that's not my issue. That's not... And that's not a me problem. Because if you can make me have fun, smile, cheer, get goosebumps, tears well up in my eyes, you just fucking, I don't care the critical fucking methods and how tight it is. It just doesn't matter. And I find it enlightening that in writing down some notes, I stopped half the sentence and then put a dash and said, I don't give a fuck. Can make a lot of movies do that? No, so I'll agree that it's riding that line 
for people. But in no way is this going to be something that I think can be too confusing. Is it too fourth wall breaking? Fuck no. It's Deadpool. Again, I like the first Deadpool movie. I don't like the, I don't think this. To me, the second Deadpool movie is more like Wonder Woman 80, 1984. Although it may, it may, it's probably a better movie than that. But I see it as I had fun. So I enjoy the movie. I will not shut off uh, Wonder Woman 1984. I will not, you know, diss it in a way and give it some bad, you know, attention or, you know, negative fucking impact in that sense. Because, yeah, it wasn't a very good movie, but as a critic, but did I have fun? Do I enjoy Gail Gadot as Wonder Woman? Fuck yeah. And it is what it is. There's this thing about. Uh, I don't think people go out to make a bad movie, but they're made, and there are people who rush things and want to keep the fucking, their ownership of certain things, so they rush out movies. So I get it, and, you know, got to be real to that extent, but I'm going to give credit to this whole fucking movie, and I mean everything. So if there's a spoiler, then I'm going to say it's just that there is a mid-credit scene and an end-credit scene. That's it. I won't say what they are, but kudos to this fucking movie. The director, Sean Levy. I mean, Ryan Reynolds is credited with some with the writing in it too, with a bunch of people. Good. And you know, you can look at things and, and complain, oh, there's too many writers. Who's doing this? This is a labor of love. This is getting Hugh Jackman out of retirement, playing the Wolverine character. And holy fucking shit, is this movie just oozing with um you know fan fucking giving the fans what they want it's just everywhere and logan wolverine is just such a central point and such a great straight man to wade that it's uh, there's a little quick thing about hugh jackman who retired his wolverine <laughs> acting career and then three days later he watches deadpool because it comes out and he's like, oh, shit, you know, like because he saw the potential of what could happen. And even in the comics, and I'll even in, put interject real quickly, I'm not a big fan of Deadpool in the comics. I have collected comics for years. I've talked about this. And I do have his first appearance in, like, I think it's a New Mutants 99 or maybe 100 when they changed over to X-Force. And I'm not really the biggest fan in that sense. I like his ability to come into a comic and turn things upside down but as a comic reader and reading his comics i don't care it's just i wouldn't put it on my list you know if, if it had to do with a tie-in you know I, I got it or maybe i got like the deadpool secret invasion stuff but that was like when i stopped collecting comics anyway i don't want this to be too long i love this movie from top to bottom beginning to end music cinematography iconic uh, comic book cover portrayals put into the movie. Uh, it just fits so well for me. Just overwhelms me with everything good about superhero movies. Yes, this is probably a comedy. Um, you know, but when you go back and look at some of the behind the scenes stuff in this 20 something years of Fox going into Marvel, when you think about all the original movies that really didn't do so well there wasn't the mcu yet everything is paid you know they do um even even going back i think kevin feige was like a low-level producer on the first x-men film and how he rose up i think these are some of the things you'll find out you know if you do dives into it or if you knew beforehand if people are in this business of doing reviews and you know they have no choice but to find these things out and in that in the, in the workings of doing their job, basically, they have to find out spoilers, and does, could that lower the fun factor of this movie? I say, for the most part, no, but there are people who it, it will affect, so that's the only thing I see weighing us down. I don't care if it's the biggest thing. I don't care if it saves Disney, or Disney has to be saved. The superheroes... They're gonna go. No, I don't think superheroes are like westerns, where you know, for you know, for a certain amount of years, a couple of decades, westerns were the shit. People were fucking fascinated by, you know, how we 
settled the kind and then you got the Clint Eastwoods and the Spaghetti Westerns and going back to John Wayne and no cuz I think superhero movies transcend that it's you can tell a superhero story as a western as a fucking period piece and it's been proven however I don't that doesn't bother me I'm not here I don't give a fuck about that on my thumbnails or um although I did like one thing with Batman I I was so pissed at that Batman movie it annoyed me so much I think I put socks on the thumbnail and it just happens to be like the only video i ever did that had like two thousand fucking views and whatever but that's not what i'm here for and it always makes me smile but uh, i'm not gonna change who i am and just shit on everything and i think that's part of this um trend but it is what it is because it's fucking internet and i'm so fucking happy we're in this age of um you know, discovery of fucking being able to Go to your favorite star and tell them how shitty they were in the movie, and well, you know, oh my god, what a great job they did. And I don't think there should be any issues with what's trending and what's gonna be the fucking future of certain movies. No, I'm not that guy who said, oh, you know, the the, the lower Marvel movies with they, you know, trying the multiverse stuff or whatever. I don't see it as a, I just love it in the sense that you did it. It's not for me. This movie or well, this movie's definitely not as good as the other fine it's gonna happen this is fucking life this is movie making but it is a monumental achievement in my opinion that this movie comes out at this time the merger disney with fucking taking deadpool and marvel and again I'll, i'm gonna make this short but this movie doesn't give a fuck ryan reynolds clearly had <laughs> i don't want to give spoilers but there are fucking fourth world breaks about people's fucking divorces people's real life shit how you know certain things are viewed in the current zeitgeist of marvel movies or movies in general there's a fucking cameo in here <laughs> and it's clearly a dig at dc and it's so much fun holy shit so again the director sean levy good for him ryan reynolds Fucking Hugh Jackman, amazing. Just, just to think he could do Logan and then come back and then do this movie. It's not a spoiler, but you see he has part of the costume on. Fucking A, just holy shit. Cheers, goosebumps, screaming out loud. An audience like I've never seen before. And this just could be me. You know, some people go to a 2 o'clock showing with 20 people in the theater. To me, that's not an indication the movie sucks or whatever. It's just how things are it's life some people just fucking don't even go to movie theaters no more after the pandemic and whatever it is what it is in that sense but this movie is fucking amazing to me again the nitpicks you would have the uh, critical eye that you're putting on on purpose to, to do your jobs and thank god for people like that you know i will watch uh give a, an example like uh, amola or um I don't like using the real fucking, you know, uh, some of these fucking people who do this shit just bother me. But let's say there's something like that where I can get into it and, you know, uh, appreciate somebody who could really critique the movie and rip it apart in that sense. But it'll never change the fact that I'm going to go, I still love the movie. I just try to be honest and not debate that and say, you know, you know, this, no, it's what is what it is. I, if it's sound logic, it makes sense. And you made your point. I'm not going to argue it. But it's not going to make me not love the movie. This movie is amazing. It fucking caters to the fans. Yes, it is irreverent to the max. It is my favorite Deadpool movie. It might be my favorite Wolverine movie. Although, I think, like I said, Logan is just such a vibe that you have to, you know, you have to get through it and, you know, really find pieces of yourself that are a little dark and, you know, put you in that place. This movie, holy shit, comic accurate portrayals of things, um, set up scenes and frames of the camera. It's just a joy to behold. I don't care to say, oh, it's saving Marvel or Disney. I don't give a fuck. I, I want to be entertained and have fun. This movie does it for me and I recommend it to everybody. And I think that'll be where I end it because. If I ever do do a non-spoilers one, maybe I'll go through the movie and you know show the points, whatever. But this, I just want to get out there and say, holy shit, this movie's amazing. I love it. 
I think everybody's going to love it. I don't care. I don't think it matters if you watch one Marvel movie or two. I don't think it matters. And I think those talking points, although people have to do it for their job, I just think it doesn't matter in a movie like this. You know, we go into 48 hours or Midnight Run and movies like that. You know, you don't need to did it do enough exposition here and there. Does it have to be succinct and done differently because it's a superior movie? Perhaps. And could you be critiquing that? Sure, a pacing issues, fine, maybe one nitpick here and there, but it doesn't matter, like I said, I don't give a fuck, as I wrote down. Deadpool of Wolverine is a fucking hit for me, it is one of the, my favorite fucking movies, period. I will watch this movie, I know, over and over and over and over. There is no telling how many times I could watch this movie. Brutal, honest, um... Here and there, it's a little heartfelt. It, it got its moments. Cameos up the Wahoo. Surprises for me that really, you know, just made got me in the feels. It just did and made me laugh. I've never laughed so hard and cheered. It, it just all came together. And when you think about Endgame and like certain moments or Infinity War, yeah, and Civil War even, there's moments where it elevates. Everything's elevated and you're just elated. And this is the experience for me. This might be my favorite in that for that. So I would watch it. Go see it. It's just balls to the wall, fun, irreverent, in your face humor, some really deep moments here and there. And it works for me. It just comes together. Yeah, my critical eye can sit here and talk about a pacing issue at one point in the movie. Or um, is it overload for this? Or is this wasn't necessary? I don't think it matters in, in the long run for movies like this. N not everything has to be an Oscar thing. It, 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 like Hugh Jackman should have won an Oscar for Logan, but fine. It, it, it doesn't sit in my brain. It doesn't weigh on me, especially the more and more I, I get into this. I've been doing this for like, I don't know, a couple of years, four years, and I do it just as a side thing just to get my thoughts out and have like, a, you know, a little thing about me on the internet that shows aspects of me. And there are times where I'll just get in the mood and just do science fucking articles and, you know, breakthroughs in medicine, psychology stuff. And this love that I have for this is not impacted by trends and thumbnails and what can I do? To, I, I don't care. Yeah, it would be great. So, yeah, I guess I'm human. But I'm just here to say, as a quick non-spoiler review... Beginning to end, fun, never cheered so much, goosebumps, tears. It works on every level for me. Is it the most perfect movie ever made? No. Does it have a couple of nitpicks in there? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. And I'll end this with even, because I admit this a lot, like I, I, She-Hulk, I even said I like she oh, 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 Green Lantern movie. Uh, I do recognize those faults and would agree with someone's going through their problems with the movies i don't think this movie has all those problems it, of course it has some it just is what it is it's it's fucking movie making and you've got people who have a passionate idea where to take this and where the actors agree and have some influence so i think it's going to be markedly different in that aspect and i think for me it works and for all the fans it's going to work who know the deadpool the wolverine the marvel the, the history of uh, uh you know, know all the tidbits of everything. It's going to be fucking amazing for them. However, on the flip side of that, if you're really into this job, and kudos to you guys, you fucking soldiers, you come out here and you watch things, you've got to know what's going on. You're really in-depth about certain directors and actors, and then you find out, oh, the spoiler, I, I knew this, I knew that. It doesn't feel as special to me. I get it, and I'm all for you. And kudos to you, because I'm not here to even diss on... Although, you know, if there's people who don't like the fucking movie, give bad reviews. Like, it doesn't matter. It's all awesome, in my opinion. It all comes together because we are who we are. And for me, this movie works. Do I think it'll work for everybody? Yes. It's just a comedy, a fucking action, gore fest, superhero movie with characters who can't have time to be portrayed like that in the comics and really pushes it. I am so happy with this movie. Go see it, everybody. Holy shit, an R-rated movie that is Disney is 
to fucking worry about Marvel taking over Disney or Disney's Marvelification of uh, was it going to impact you know, Deadpool? No. The movie don't give a fuck. He doesn't give I'm surprised that some of the jokes were even allowed. Like I said, it is, for me, one of my favorite Marvel movies now. I can watch this forever. So I'll leave it at that without no spoilers. And I hope everybody enjoys this movie. Oh, man. Just fucking fun. I want to I wanna watch it again. Uh, I get goosebumps. Everything worked. I don't think I've ever rose out of my seat so like that at a point in a movie. Yeah, it happened in Endgame to an extent. And but man, is this movie just made for me. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Go see it. Man, have a great time, everybody. I wish you all the best. Take care.